Today we are breaking down another Craig roll. Don't be like Manny and now wear MA1 gear at his gym. That's frowned upon. The position starts by Manny having his hands together around Craig's hips. He is rotating to the side trying to get an angle. Craig has an over and tricep grip and this overhook is blocking Manny from going further. Craig takes a step out between Manny's legs and then fakes a judo throw. He first hooks his leg around Manny's to trap it. Simultaneously, he lets go of the tricep grip to underhook the leg and extends his leg to block the far leg. He then brings his knee to the mat as he falls to about a 45 degree angle. Then he switches his grips and grabs on the thigh. Manny realizes his grips are not helping and he lets go. Manny makes the mistake by trapping his arm, which helps Craig climb up using his grips. As he advances to a top position, Craig pins Manny's arms with his chest and uses his left arm to pin Manny's wrist to the mat. He then uses his free leg to push off and create space as he frees his trap leg. He lets go of the wrist control and places it behind Manny's arm as he sprawls on him. Craig then flares up his elbow and uses his legs to frame under Manny's arms. Manny then makes the mistake of giving Craig the space for the head and arm choke. I like how he drops his hips to the mat as he gets his grips to create that pressure. He then starts working his way over. Craig didn't even have to go all the way over and he stayed really high on that choke. Alright, that's it for now. I'll see you on the next one.